Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let me show you how to make potato croquettes or also known as potato balls. These small little fried fritters are perfect for snack time or another perfect iftar recipe. So let me show you how to make them. So to begin with, you can start by boiling and mashing up your desired amount of potatoes. Once that's done, we can go and add around two teaspoons of melted butter. If you don't have melted butter, you can use margarine. If you don't have margarine, just go ahead and add your choosing of oil and give it a good mix. And then I went ahead and added half an onion, some cilantro. For the spices, we're going to be adding one tablespoon of chili flakes, one tablespoon of black pepper powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, salt to taste, and around one tablespoon of cumin powder. Give everything a really good mix and you're gonna go ahead and add some peri peri sauce. This is optional, but I like to add around two tablespoons. If you don't have peri peri sauce, you can always add hot sauce, preferably sriracha if you have, but give that a really good mix and we're gonna add one egg yolk Give it a good mix. Remember not to throw the egg whites. You'll need them when you dip them. Just oil your hands and then you're going to pick up your desired amount of potatoes and make the shape that you want. I made around 15 to 20. And then you're going to pop these in the freezer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes has passed, you can start with the coating station. So for the coating, it's fairly simple. Just lay out some flour and then lay out some breadcrumbs and the egg whites. To the egg whites, I like to add some milk and give that a good mix and it's ready to dip. So the order for the dip would be flour first, shake off all the excess flour and then add it to the egg and milk mixture. Give it a good mix and then add it to the breadcrumbs. If you feel like you want to do a double coating, go ahead and do a double coating. It'll just make a perfect and more crispier outer edge. But I just stuck to one coating. And now these are ready to fry. I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out all the recipes on my page. This recipe is perfect for snack time, tea time, and a perfect recipe you should try during Ramadan. 